What's up everyone, welcome back. So today we are working on the Volkswagen thing that I showed you guys on a previous video. Uh, we've started the tear down on it to get it ready for the restoration. Uh, so I'll show you guys how that's going. Uh, we got the interior taken out of it, as you can see here. Uh, most of the interior, well, the interior is out. Um, you know, all the dash and all that stuff still in there. Uh, and then also up in the front, we got the fuel tank out, fuel systems out. And uh, the only thing left to unhook up here is the brakes to the body. And the plan on this, um, the friend that's helping me do all the body work, he uh, he wants to get started on it. So rather than uh, waste some time uh, trying to get the body ready, we're going to pull the body off the pan. And I'm going to send him the pan for now. Because uh, you can see in the pan, right down in here, it's been patched uh previously and it's all rusted through so i got new pans they'll be here uh in two days so we're gonna pull the body off this weekend and i'm gonna send the pan and the new pan the the existing the whole bottom of the car with the new pans up to his place he's gonna get the pans put on while i get the body stripped and we got our sandblaster set up so we're gonna sandblast the whole body and uh I'll probably send it to him just in bare steel and then when he's done with it we will uh we'll get all the epoxy done at that point so for now uh stay tuned while we get this thing tore down and get ready on the restoration on it uh so we got it torn apart well mostly torn apart still some stuff take off the body but the uh the pan's out so i'll gonna show you guys that so here's the pan got all this out um you can see the floors pretty rusty the the box has been the battery box has been patched but we got this all stripped bodies off sitting on stands over here um we still got to strip the body and sandblast it so we're going to replace the floors on the pan first while we uh get the body stripped but the body is in really bad shape uh, a lot worse than we thought pretty much non-existent all through here there is no bottom to the car so yeah it's gonna be a lot of work on this body but it shouldn't be an issue you, know, you gotta do what you gotta do um, but we got all this I gotta finish stripping the body out uh, this week while we get the pan taken over uh, i'm gonna take this over to the shop today and we will uh start working on this and i'm gonna pull the engine right now so i'm gonna pull the engine right now and then i'm going to pressure wash the whole thing so it's ready uh and then it's gonna go over later today and then when i get back we're gonna start taking the lights hood trunk all that stuff off of this get the fenders off we're just going to start stripping this thing down to as minimum as possible before we start working on it um but some of the rust in here you can see it's all rusted out all the way through here all the way around and the inside here looks pretty good though i don't see much rust down inside here the whole bottom of the car is gone I mean, you can see how much rust is just falling out of this car just from moving it around so i'll uh, keep giving you guys updates as we go and uh yeah stay tuned i'll give you guys an update before this video is over once i get the engine off and the uh, pan sand blasted i'll do uh, one more update in this video uh before we finish that one off and move on to a video just about the body so i'm gonna try and fill you in I don't exactly remember where I set off last time, but the floor is out. The floor is actually already in the shop and the pans are removed from the floor already, ready to go in. Uh, I just talked to a friend of mine who's helping me with it. Uh, he finished up cutting them out today and he'll be starting on Monday. So a couple days from now, uh, taking the weekend off. But that is out. As you can see, the car is stripped mostly. I'm working on getting the rest of it stripped today. Um, the plan is to swap the body and the floor for and the pan uh, one week from today. 
so I gotta have this thing stripped and sandblasted as much of it sandblasted as possible by then. Um, but you can see underneath, it was in really bad shape. <laughs> uh, you can see through it in a lot of places. Um, hole there, that whole side's rusted out, the whole bottom's rusted. Had to put these bars in uh, just to stop the car from uh, folding in half, honestly, because it was so bad. Uh, the only reason, the, in complete honesty, the only reason this car would be getting saved when it looks like this is because of how rare it is. Um, since it is an Acapulco, it's a real Acapulco, it's one of 400, it's worth saving. So I'll uh, keep you guys updated today as I strip this down and I'll show you guys as we go. Stay tuned. So we got most of the car stripped down. As you can see, we got, I got the heater all out. Um, got all the lines out of the front. Just gotta do some wiring now. Uh, got all the lights out also on the front. Still gotta pull the dash out, the whole wiring harness, all of the dash. And then uh, on the back, I gotta do the rear lights, but we can the uh, cover, the, the rear engine cover off. And we got the one side pod off. Um, you can see over here. So on this, we had to drill out these because none of these would come off. And when they had painted it, you can see they just painted right over top of the blue. Um, they didn't even clean any of it up. On the window, you can see they just kind of like bondoed over the bolts that were there. <laughs> and completely just, yeah. This whole top frame is gonna need a lot of work. You can see how kind of wonky it is. It's all screwed up over here. Um, probably just gonna end up building a new window frame. It's gonna be a lot of work to fix that one just by how screwed up it is. But So the goal for today is to have this thing stripped, fenders off, and uh, wiring out. So. Yeah, stay tuned. I'll, uh, I'll film as I'm working today and give you guys some updates. But we're going to get this other pod pulled off, get the rear light, and then start working on wiring. Okay, so we got the fenders off. Uh, show you guys that. So we got all four fenders all cleaned off. This one's not terrible. Um, that one doesn't have too many holes. This one over here, we knew about that big hole there. But up and around, don't look too bad. Uh, aside. The air intake vents are off. This side, we knew about that hole. The rest of it looks pretty good though. This one up here, this one has a pretty big hole all the way around there. Um, but the inside doesn't look too bad. We still gotta get the undercoating off. Big hole in there. But we still gotta get the undercoating off, so. We'll see on that, but I'm going to actually pressure wash the car now. I got it stripped enough that uh, it's ready to be pressure washed. So I'm gonna uh, simple green the whole thing with a foam cannon and pressure wash the entire car. So I'll set that up on a time lapse right now and we'll get moving. You can see this is pretty rusted out back here, but that's not terrible. So yeah. Stay tuned. I'm going to throw you guys on a time lapse now and uh, we'll get this thing going and start pressure washing. Get this guy cleaned up before we get going any further.